ever get to a training session at work and think, is this thing ever going to end? Or worse, why am I even here? Right. You're definitely not alone. That's why this time we're taking a deep dive into Pass TT. It's a system that's all about making training, well, actually useful and way less of a chore. Pay TT stands for performance-based, accelerated, customer stakeholder driven training. It's about making sure training actually helps people do their jobs better. Okay, love the goal. So where do we even begin with this Passy T thing? We're looking at the uh, Lean ISD book PDF for this deep dive. Don't worry, we'll just call it the Lean ISD book from now on. Easier on everyone, I think. <laughs> and it's what's inside that counts, right? Yeah. This book basically says we can take the principles of lean manufacturing and apply them to how we design training, which is what ISD is all about. ISD being instructional systems design. But for folks who aren't training nerds like us, what's ISD actually mean in plain English? Think of it like you wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? Definitely not. Unless you want a disaster on your hands. Exactly. ISD is bringing that same planning, that structure to how we do training. Makes sense. Hmm. But the book says traditional ISD often doesn't quite work out. Yeah, it's like you've got the blueprint, but you're trying to build in the dark. Might get there eventually, but it's frustrating, takes way longer. And Might end up with a wonky looking house. Yeah, maybe not what you had in mind. And that's where Pisces T comes in, turns the lights on, hands you a flashlight. Exactly. Provides a clear framework, tools to design training focused on. Did it work? Did people actually learn and get better? So it's all about results, not just ticking the training done box. 100%. Making sure every dollar spent translates to better performance. For the company and for the employees too. Okay, so how does PCT actually do that? What makes it different? Give us the inside scoop. Well, the Lean ISD book says traditional ISD, it gets bogged down. Too many models, processes unclear, and often. Like trying to follow a recipe with steps missing? Kind of, but the biggie is they don't involve the right people enough. You mean the folks who actually DO the jobs the training's supposed to be for? Yep. And their managers who see the day-to-day -day performance. That's like designing a car without talking to the people who'll be driving it. Precisely. The book calls it developed in a piecemeal, non-systematic way. No wonder so many people feel like training's a waste of time. It feels irrelevant if it's not connected to what you actually do. Right. Plus, that's got to be a ton of wasted money for companies. Throwing stuff at the wall and... Just hoping something sticks. Yeah. Except in this case, that stuff is expensive training materials and the wall disengaged employees. Ouch. Yeah, that sums it up. Traditional way can be costly, inefficient, and often doesn't work. So for you, that's the heart of the problem. It's about value. Making sure time and money invested in training actually leads to better work, to things improving. And that's where PayCT steps in with its lean performance-driven mindset. So PayCT is like the, what, instruction manual to building good training. What's in it? It's structured, like we were saying before, building a house. There are three main levels. Okay, walk me through it. What's the foundation? First, you've got curriculum architecture design, CAD. It's making the blueprint for like the whole learning journey for a job, figuring out the big picture. So CAD is the whole forest before you get to the trees. What's next? Then it's modular curriculum development, MCD. This is where you build those individual trees, the training modules. Right, so MCD takes what CAT laid out, makes it focused, right? Exactly. Each module gets at a specific set of skills or knowledge that's needed. Got it. Blueprint, building blocks. But what about the fun part? Making it look good. How do we bring these modules to life? Uh, that's where instructional activity development comes in, IAD. This is the nitty gritty, the activities, materials, even how it's taught. Love it. So going from architectural plans to actually picking out the paint colors, the furniture, each step gets us closer to that dream home or, you know, in our case, a really effective training program. Exactly. And Pass ET doesn't just hand you these levels and say, figure it out. There's something that guides you through, right? Yeah, there's a core analysis process. It's like, hmm, almost like x-ray vision into what it takes to be good at that job. And that x-ray vision, that's the performance model. Nailed it. Mm. The performance model is key to pass ET. Like a detective, figuring out what it takes to succeed in that role. Okay, I like a good detective story. How's it work in real life, though? So first, the performance model figures out the ideal performance. What does success really look like in that role? So you've got your ideal, but then there's reality. How do we bridge that gap? That's what's so cool. The performance model compares that ideal to how employees are actually doing. 
it finds the gaps. And those gaps tell you what the training needs to be, like a custom tailored suit just for that. Right. Instead of this generic training everyone gets, it pinpoints what's needed for who. No more guessing games. Makes it way more efficient. But the Lean ISD book talks about teamwork too. How do teams play into this whole PassCT thing? Teams are huge. PassCT is all about working together at every step, defining that ideal performance, analyzing those gaps, designing the actual training. So it's not just one person in a cubicle somewhere saying, this is what everyone needs to know. Not at all. It's about bringing different voices in, employees, managers, people who are experts on that topic well, to make sure the training is actually useful. And engaging, I'd imagine. If you've had a say in it, you're more likely to pay attention, right? Absolutely. This collaborative approach, it builds buy-in, which is huge EE if you want any training to actually work. This is where it gets really interesting for me, I got to say. The book mentions this thing, a T&D path. It's basically mapping out the whole learning journey for someone's job. Yeah, the T&D path is about constantly growing those skills. People need to stay on top of their game. Like a career GPS, keeping them on track. I like that. But it also shows pass ETs about way more than just one training, right? It's this whole learning system. But before we go too deep, what's the main takeaway for our listeners here? Okay, we've got blueprints, building blocks, the whole nine yards. But realistically, most of us are working with a budget, right? Always. And the Lean ISD book mentioned something called development ratios. Honestly, it made me think we were talking about real estate for a second. I can see that. But no, development ratios are actually a really handy tool in PassCT. They help figure out how much it'll cost to you know, actually create the training using different methods. So like flying everyone to a conference for a week versus having them do online modules, you can compare the costs. Exactly. Different methods mean different resources, different amounts of time, different expertise needed. Development ratios help weigh all that. So you're making informed decisions, especially these days. Got to be smart with the budget. But it's more than just saving money, right? Right. Pass AT is all about being accelerated too, remember? Sure. Part of that is those ratios, a more efficient way to do training means it gets done faster. But there's more. Like what? Pass CT emphasizes that teamwork aspect. Yeah. Streamlining the analysis, using materials you already have, it all adds up to getting the training out there quicker. Which is huge EE with how fast things change now, right? Mm -hmm. Technology, what customers want, got to be able to adapt. Exactly. Pass CT gets that speed is key. You know what else jumped out at me in the book? How much it stresses documentation. Every other sentence was like, write that down. And for good reason. Might not sound exciting, but documentation's essential. Why is that? A few reasons. Yeah. First, it's like a roadmap. Yeah. Anyone who needs to know how the training came about, WHY certain decisions were made, they've got that record. New employees, for example. So they don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Right. But it's also about constantly making things better. If you document what you learned, challenges, solutions, that's valuable knowledge for the next project. Avoid the same mistakes, repeat the successes. Exactly. It's that whole continuous improvement thing, but applied to how you train people. Before we wrap up, I want to touch on something you said earlier that Patty might not be for every organization. When would it not be a good fit? Good question. Patty T is great, but you need that commitment to a structured way of doing things. Organizations that are like, nope, we wing it. Yeah, they might struggle. Mm. Or if they're super resistant to change, passy T takes buy-in, people actively participating. It's not a magic wand you wave and suddenly your training's amazing. Right. So listeners, think about your company's culture, what your goals are, even what resources you've got. See if passy T actually aligns with all that. That's a great way to put it. It's a tool, but one size doesn't fit all. Well, that brings us to the end of our deep dive on passy T. Hope you learned some new things along the way. It's about moving past those ugh, training moments and making it actually valuable for everyone. And realizing that training, it's not just checking a box. It's investing in your people so they can grow and be even better. Love that. If you're tired of throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks, maybe give Passy T a try. Until next time, keep learning and we'll see you on the next deep dive.